There are lots of different ways for recording your computer screen and in this video I wanted to show you two of the simplest ways for recording your computer screen completely for free and you could use both of these for free to record your screen on Mac computers, on Windows PC and even on Linux. Now this first option is one of my favorites because it's the easiest to use and it's all on the web so you just access this at loom.com and I'll put a link below in the description if you just want to click that link and sign up for free. Now this does have limitation on the free space that you get but you can use it, I still use it here for free. So let me show you how it works. So from the homepage create a free account here and go through the sign up process. So from this page you could press new video and say record a video. This is going to allow you to record your computer screen and here you could choose to record your screen and your camera at the same time, screen only or camera only. Camera is typically your webcam so what you see I've set up over here that does screen and camera at the same time and you could just press start record here if you choose that option. If you choose the camera option you will see a preview of yourself on the bottom here in this corner. In this case I don't have a camera plugged in I'm just going to press screen only so it's just going to capture my display and I'm going to press start recording. If you have an external microphone for better audio quality for example for this video I'm wearing a microphone I'll put some resources in the description for better sound quality because your computer typically is not going to have the best sound quality you want to plug in a professional USB microphone and they're pretty inexpensive if you're using this for presentations. I'm going to press start recording right now and it's going to say yes for proceeding and in this window you could choose to record your entire screen or you could choose to record just a window so if you have a Chrome window but you don't want to show things that are on your desktop that will be an option with a window or the Chrome tab. Now typically I'll just record my entire screen if I'm doing a full demonstration on something like I'm doing here. I'm going to go ahead and press share here and just like this you'll see a countdown and now it's going to record your screen so whatever I do here is going to get recorded and since I'm recording my entire desktop if I exit that page it's going to record that as well. Now if you see this countdown right here I could anytime press stop on it and as soon as it stops recording this is one of the things that makes me choose this as one of my favorite options is right now I could actually share this it's already on my account I don't have to do anything I could just press share up here and it will copy that link or I could put someone's email over here so here's the link option too. click this and it's copied that link when someone else clicks on that link this is basically the window they're going to get so they could press play and see my screen recording right here and it has speed options available and this also has a really interesting option for trimming or adding different clips so I could press trim and it's going to give me a simple video editor here where I could choose to basically trim or split the beginning so sometimes it takes a bit for you to get started or you make a mistake in the beginning you could actually go ahead and trim that out with this option and since this is all online you could also get comments here and have a back and forth collaboration and you could always download it directly to your computer as well. If you press these three dots you'll see all the different options you have including download which will just download a version right to your computer here as an mp4 file. I do have a full Loom tutorial so I'll link that below if this is the option you're going to choose but let me show you a second way to record your computer screen for free on Windows or on a Mac. Now this option is completely free you do have to download something to your computer but this one is the most popular out there and it has no paid upgrades actually it's completely free forever no limitations and you could get it for Windows for Mac and for Linux. So you just click on the platform that you're using it's going to download the application so just install the application on Mac or PC I'm going to go ahead and install it to my Mac here and let me go to my application folder here and double click to open it. Now I'm using a brand new computer so it's a fresh install if you're using a Mac you may have to actually change your system preferences and allow applications like this to actually be able to record your screen. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and you may get a pop-up for the first time optimized for streaming recording is secondary in this case recording is what I want to do this also lets you stream on the web but in this case I just want to record my screen so I'm going to go ahead and press next and I'm going to leave these as the default here and continue. Now this OBS window is pretty powerful so at first glance it may look a little complicated but really all you have to do is add your screen as a source down here. So if I press the plus sign 
I could choose display capture right here. So this is gonna be my computer screen. I'm just gonna press okay. And I'm gonna to have to give it access probably. So I'm gonna give this access and I had to restart OBS over here. And it's gonna show your display like this. So it basically recognized my computer and it puts this in a window like this. It's gonna have this weird window in window. Don't worry about that so much. It's only gonna capture your screen. If yours doesn't look like this, just go ahead and right click on it and make sure you resize the output. So make sure you resize the output so it fits the display. Now, if you just press start record right here, start recording, it's going to start recording this to your computer, okay? But let me press stop because I wanna show you a couple extra settings here and I do, again, have a full OBS tutorial if this is the path you want to go. So let me go ahead and up here, go to OBS and go to preferences and if you're on a Windows, go to file preferences and right here, first, I go to the audio tab, and if I want to add a microphone, I go ahead and select a microphone here. Now, I don't have any plug that I'm using this microphone to record this video, but this will be where you select that. Again, the recommended mics are in the description, so I would select this first. Then, for your output, I would go over here. You could leave everything the same, but the recording path you could change. So, for example, it's going to my movies folder, but let's say I wanna just put it on my desktop right over here. I could just press open there and it's gonna change that path and I could change the quality. I typically change the recording format to MP4. This is the, one of the most popular ways to record a video and high quality is good for me, but you do have other options as well over here. Okay, so I changed my audio and my output you do have other options here that you could look at. Again, I cover those in the more advanced training. So now, if I press start recording, it's going to start recording, and you could see this file being formed over here, right? Until I press stop, it's gonna capture everything I'm doing on this display. So for example, if I go back to this website and basically browse around, it's gonna capture all of that, and as long as I have a mic that I select that it's gonna record my sound. So I'll have to go back to OBS here, and I'll have to press stop, okay? So now if I go to my desktop, let me go ahead and get rid of OBS. This is the file. So I could just show you, this is the file that it recorded. So all the screen recording I did here, just like the website recording is here. But now it also records the beginning where I have OBS open and the end too. So if you don't want that, you'll have to use a editing software to basically trim that out. That's why I showed you Loom first because Loom has a simple editor built in where you could go ahead and trim it out. I do have a ton of editing tutorials on this channel though, if you want to really polish up this video and make it look like the one you're watching right now. So I hope you found this useful and you could record your computer screen for free. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.